Biz Takeouts TV, and we're at the 2014 Lurie's Expo at the Cape Town City Hall. We're gonna go tap into the minds of some of the speakers from the Seminar of Creativity to see what makes them tick. Okay, with us on Biz Takeouts TV, we've got Stephen Doyle, who is the Creative Director for Doyle Partners. Welcome to Biz Takeouts TV. Thank you so much. Cool. Obviously, in your talk today, you, I think to start out, this was something which, which I found super interesting. You spoke about the African beadwork. And tell us a little bit behind that. When we do projects, we try to make them somehow authentic. I was a little upset, actually, to get a commission to create an opening page for Departures Magazine in their special section about Africa. And I suggested that maybe we could work with some Africans to do the work. But uh, unfortunately, they were a little afraid of the schedule and the commitment and their ability to control it. So I did. we did our best to channel an African language without making a pastiche, I hope. So it was African beadwork without the Africa kind of thing? Unfortunately. Inspired by Africa, how about? Awesome. Who, who was that project for? That was for Departures Magazine, uh, which was then part of uh, American Express's luxury group of magazines. And then obviously you're, you're at the Lurie's this year as jury chair for design, communication design. Is all design not about communication? All design is, well, let's say good design is about communication. All design is not. Okay, and do you think um, the ad industry as a whole takes design seriously enough? Do you think it's, it's it, should it be the first point, uh, point of call for, for executive creative directors, or do you think they don't put enough emphasis on it? I think that varies widely by agency. Some agencies value design incredibly, which is just phenomenal, and I think that they succeed well. Some agencies, it's design is still as, as kind of a stepchild. Okay, and then obviously you've done some, you, I follow your Instagram account, you've got some amazing photos of Times Square and all of that. What inspires you? Um, What's your handle, dude? Uh, uh, what is my handle? War, uh, Waza, <laughs> 2121. What, what inspires you about living in New York City? Oh, New York is incredible inspiration. It just from the, uh, I got there when I was 17 years old and I haven't looked back. I went there to college. There's, there's just, there's a curiosity, there's an intellectual throb. You can just, you can feel it when the minute you hit the street in Manhattan, you just feel that there's something going on and it makes you aspire a little bit higher, I think, Warren. It's the American dream, really. Yes, it is. And then when it comes, for you, starting out with a project and working around design, what is your start point in terms of starting a project and the design around that project? Well, it, it, for me, often the starting point is language, but most important is the idea. To understand the audience and the context and then try to figure out backwards what's the solution rather than figuring forward. We don't have a house style, but I think maybe we have a house sensibility that is a little bit, maybe you saw on the show, maybe a little bit poetic, maybe a little bit uh, tactile and very humanist. And then do you think design is universal? Do you think something that'll work what in, in the States will work in Africa and Europe, etc.? Often not, because of cultural mores. We worked for years on uh, Band-Aid packaging for Johnson & Johnson, and it was fascinating to learn how Americans think of the outdoors as clean and the Japanese don't. So when we, had, we were using photographs of, of people outside and we're thinking how fresh and clean and beautiful and the Japanese audience when we did test marketing reacted like oh my gosh you know that's why they take their shoes off when they come inside because it's inside that's clean. So, is, so that's it depends essentially on the communication there is no standard answer. Absolutely. Okay and then obviously being being jury chair has any work stood out for you in terms of um, some design work in that you've been looking at now that you've kind of gone well that that's pretty good. There was definitely work that I looked at that I wish that I had done. There was some really beautiful work. I hate that feeling when I look at something and go, oh, I wish I had done that. Yeah, yeah, it's the best. It's the best horrible feeling, right? It's the, the best, worst horrible feeling, though. <laughs> and then in your talk, you spoke about the Johnson & Johnson, Johnson, hey, Johnson & Johnson & Johnson, the Johnson & Johnson <laughs> case study. Um, tell us a little bit about that. That was an incredible experience to work for Johnson & Johnson. We did the annual report for them for eight years, and then we designed their uh, online format. It's no longer printed. But working for them uh, was wonderful because we were able to discover the stories of what they're actually doing all over the world to benefit people, real people, in a very real way. Um, and kind of our objective was to shake that big corporate perception and show them kind of boots on the ground what they're accomplishing. Their program in East London called Mothers to Mothers 
teaches moms who are HIV positive and pregnant how to have children that are HIV negative. But the important thing is that it's not a bunch of Johnson & Johnson executives that come in and, and talk to moms. They train moms to talk to each other, and they have reached uh, uh, 1,200,000 women since this program started. It's incredible. It's amazing. You, you mentioned print now. Do you think design that, that, that's fit, fit for print, do you think it translates well into, into digital platforms and other platforms? Oh, absolutely. I think that the Fun Horizon for us as uh, graphic designers who have been doing print work for years, it's so much fun to now be able to use a digital platform and to be able to add motion and sound and, and make our stories come alive. Excellent. Thanks so much for joining us and thanks for sharing your amazing design mind. So happy to be here. Thank you, Warren.